Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I have a Honey Bee Stamps haul. Yeah, new release. Happy, happy. <laughs> Alrighty, so I just got the mail, opened up the package and here are the goodies. Alrighty folks, let's get started. This is the freebie. When you spend $75, which is very easy to do, <laughs> at Honey Bee Stamps, and when you spend a hundred, so I spent a hundred, I got this free stamp and die. And you guys have seen in the past, and now it's this cute little girl, and she's doing various things. Like I think the last one was like watering flowers, and now we have the matching boy, which is just adorable. Photopolymer stamp, high quality. Man, isn't this cute? This bag, like maybe I shouldn't even have put this on there. Save the bag, right? cute bag let me save the bag let's look at what I got alrighty first up I got the bitty buzzwords oh I saw this and I just was like this is just too cute I have a few of these buzzwords and what they're saying is just just the main sentiment they call it buzzword and this is just a smaller size which is great for because sometimes when the sentiment or the main word die is too big you have to kind of turn your, let's say you're putting it on a slim line, all of a sudden you're gonna to have to do a horizontal orientation or on a A2 card too, you'll have to turn it a certain way or angle it to be able to fit. So this is now taking a lot of what they have and that one is a long one and putting it in a smaller size. Bitty buzzwords fall. So this one, thankful for example, roughly three inches by let's say one inch from the top of that H down to the bottom of that F. Pumpkin is about the same. Yep, three inches, one inch. So there, there's a certain size that they're working with. Nice, right? Thankful, latte, coffee, grateful. And to coordinate with this wonderful set. So I have the stamps first, and this I can stamp. Stamp, heat, emboss. Cut out just the back shadow or coordinating die. So this is a really nice set right here too. So here now, if you only want just the dies only with the words, these same major ones, the ones that are in bold, here they are, you could do this, or you could do this, this version where you get both, well, I like both. And then also sentiments in here to coordinate with each one. Hi, honey, you are sweet as honey, cute, cute, cute. And I will link everything below. And remember, at Honey Bee Stamps, you can use Afterpay, where you would get um, four flex payments spread out every two weeks. Nice. And um, the ink stand. They don't have the ink stand in stock. Click to be notified. Last time I looked, I think Coneflower still was not in stock. But, and I hope this is in stock while I'm saying it, now they have sunflower layering dye. Lovely layers, sunflowers. Oh my, oh my. Sunflower measurement, three and a quarter inch, all the way around. Super duper cute. The leaf that you would use with it, so call it two and a half by one and three quarter. Nice, right? So you layer, and this is that same simple layering technique again, just like cone flower, just like the pine cone. So you notice a little series here? Pink Fresh Studio, they'll have the hot foil stamp and stencil, easy. This one at Honey Bee, they're doing florals and it's floral layering dyes, and, but they're making it very easy to do it, like very approachable, which is nice. So this now is sunflower, cute. Put the boy with the sunflower, the coffee and the sunflower. I really like this one. Alrighty, next up, I had to get this. It's just always oh, it a nice release, yeah sweater weather and it came quickly too so this one now the crisp chill of fall refreshes all pumpkin kisses and halloween wishes you know i'm using that one right now probably <laughs> a bunch of halloween and pumpkin spice sweater weather actually what got me i didn't even read everything i saw sweater weather and i saw pumpkin kisses that was it i was like that's a cute set i knew it was um a six by eight stamp set Super cute font, and you know at Honey Bee Stamps give you the outline to cut out, which I guess my own sort of fell apart, but it's okay, nothing is bent. <laughs> and here, 
you know, this will match this. Everything will line up with what's here. I can see right here, this one looks like that, I think. Yeah, so cute, so cute. Another really great set. This now I could stamp, stamp heat emboss, and then cut out and, you know, pop dot it and all that good stuff. Love this. So in actuality, I have two great word stamp sets. Love it, love it. Sweather weather, biddy buzzwords, fall. Love, 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 love. Moving on, let's talk about some cuteness. Because you guys know I like cuteness. So here is the cuteness. <laughs> I just, this is just too adorable. I couldn't help it. I know I have a few things like this, but I still just, that Easter bunny is now smaller, holding a pumpkin. This one, I could put a little cup of, you know, a little mini cup of pumpkin spice. This one's carrying the apples. And I like too that they're not just doing pumpkins. Like there is a, there's a few apples. Here is the... Is that a porcupine or a hedgehog? Send me the answer, I can't think. <laughs> He's sitting on top of a pumpkin. I think that's adorable. So instead of using the log, which you do have here, and you could cut him out and then put him here if you want, but I like him sitting on that pumpkin. This is adorable. And we are better together. This can translate way beyond this set. Look at that. Isn't that cute too? Can you imagine this heat embossed? Nice, and here is a coordinating die. See right here, that matches that. And we're all in this together, that's this. And then look at those clouds. These clouds can go with all my other sets. Lawn Fawn, oh, I can't think of all the sets, but you know what I mean. Oh, guys, normally I'm on it, but today, hmm, half on it. <laughs> and Better Together, that's what it's called. Better Together Stamp, Better Together Die, six by six. Adorable. Next, this is the cutting board. I thought it was going to be called the charcuterie board. There is also in this release a stamp set that is charcuterie. The charcuterie will have, you know, like how you look at those party platters. Well, I save those pages on Pinterest. I do. Where they'll have a big tray and, you know, ham over here and turkey and then olives and cheese and it looks Pretty made a stamp set with the stamp set, has coordinating dies, and then you would layer them on top of this. Cute. Let's say five and a half, almost five and a half, and with uh, three and a quarter inch. Cute. Did I need to give you any measurements on those word dies? Maybe I did. Did I do it? You know what? Let me back up. Because I didn't give you a measurement on this. Two and a half. By, let's say roughly two and a half that's that one there everything is going to be in the under three inches this one is like one and three quarter inch so you, you get a general feel so this one can work on slimline vertical horizontal a2 this now is really made to be it could be used by itself you could actually make a make like a little mini album because of that hole punch right there and put a ring in it and have this as like Oh, wow, that's a good idea maybe, like, you know, I used to go to a cookie swap, like this on the cookie swap and put the recipe here and the die and, you know, because it, it's just a cutting board, it's cute, with a rolling pin. <laughs> anyway, this one is cutting board and I think it has a lot of opportunity. I did not get the charcuterie set, it's cute, but I just was like, it was just, everything was adding up to a lot. And I think if you bought the entire release, $9.99, I believe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now this, you guys can thank Jill Norwood. She's here on YouTube, and she does a lot of those gingerbread tags and um, all kinds of, she makes such beautiful vintage tags and stuff like that. And I watch it, and I'm like, I need to try it, but I'm just not really good at that type of, style but I'm getting over the I'm not good and just going for it so she had bought this set and it's called cookie sheet and this is not even new but I didn't buy it before because I just was thinking what am I going to do with a cookie sheet and then she released a video where she did all kinds of stuff with the cookies and then she put some gingerbread and then she put the little spatula on the side and it's adorable and she turned them into like ornaments and I was like 
Okay, come on now. I can at least do the cookie sheet. So it's cookie sheet, cutting board. Alrighty, I will link all of this, but isn't this adorable? Totally adorable. And it does have a whole baking set. I believe I did get the stamp, the baking stamp. That I did get, but I didn't get the cookie sheet because I just didn't know where I was going to go with it. But now she kind of inspired me to go somewhere with it. <laughs> Next up, frames. I looked at the examples on the listing and I was like, oh, this is cute. So it's frames, but it's like this type of frame, you know, like, like wood. And it just was so pretty from what I saw, sentiment frames. And I'm thinking, because we're normally always going, you know, rectangular or cutting around the sentiments this way. This is like a new way for something bigger. For example, maybe it does go with this sweater weather. Maybe you could, could I put sweater weather in this? Yeah, this could go with this because this has different sizes that can work. So it actually does look really nice. And for this one, I could do treatments, foil, do some sort of embossing or some sort of texture on this, you know? Options, you guys know I like options, but you will definitely see this because I, at first I was like, what? Then afterwards I was like, oh, cute. And also, I had gotten my um, Wow Embossing Ink at Honey Bee. I also decided to get the Mix Media Brush set. You see it? So this is Embossing Ink, and you could just dab it onto something and then, you know, put a little embossing powder and then do a little, you know, spot heating. I think it can work. I'm gonna test it out. And lastly, yes, I'm still going. <laughs> Trick-or-treat bundle. This is what really got me into the Honey Bee Stamps haul. The cuteness. I was buying a few things, and then when I looked at the bundle price, which is discounted, then I was like, that makes more sense than just buying individually. So I just decided to go for the bundle. So I wasn't going to get the envelopes, which are actually quite cute. Halloween Harvest. Let's take a quick look. Alrighty, so. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Look at that. You could put thank you cards in here and... Oh, they're all different. Halloween, summer, fall. So it's like a fall Halloween. Oh, I like this too. This is really pretty. Both of them. Halloween Harvest A2 envelopes. So they will sell it individually, but you can buy it as a set. So this is everything that comes in the bundle. And they had different bundles. They had a bundle with the charcuterie board. But I didn't want to get the charcuterie, you know, stamp and dice set and all that. But there is that bundle too. And here is their double-sided paper. Six by six pack. Halloween Harvest. So let's take a quick look. Ghost. That's like, this is like that Trinity stamp. Slimline um, stamp. <laughs> That's funny. Cute. I love the purples. You guys know I'm loving this purple. Oh, you're going to see this. Some sort of Halloween make. Cute fall. Two sets of each. That is adorable. This is actually the colorway that they're using for this release with the fall. Stunning, right? Nice colors. So it's a blend of Halloween and fall, just like the matching envelopes. Next, we have Ghouls Just Wanna Have Fun. Too cute. Let's say two and three quarter by two and three quarter. So under three by three. And yep, that's the name of the stamp. Cute. It also comes with, see, I was adding all these things and then all of a sudden I realized, well, then if I do it individually, it was just coming out to be matching. Ghouls just want to have fun matching dye. It was just coming out to be, you know, chiching. So I decided to get the set, get the bundle. Comes in a nice little bag too. Let's not forget the bag. <laughs> Alrighty, so here is the gem stickers. Super duper cute. Halloween Harvest, love. You have the green, kind of a silver, black, three shades of purple, um, two shades of kind of an orangey, um, like a golden color and a red. Nice, very nice, appropriate for fall. Then they had the buzzword. Let me put this out the way. The Boo 
So now the buzzword is this big boo, which will come this, and you'll see this a lot. This is what the normal sizing is, but bigger, like coffee would be bigger. You're looking at three inches by two and a half for the boo, and you're getting three layers. So you get the outer layer, this second layer, and then the inner to cut out the whole letters. So you can do a triple layer. And a lot of times the back, this one here with the pierced detail, that one can be your solid cardstock. Then this one can be your vellum or a different color. And then this top one, that can be your glitter, your another color, or foil. You guys know I love to do this stuff with foil. Boo, love. And here is the matching stamp. And this looks like it matches with this. Two and three quarter by two and a quarter. Yeah, two and three quarter. Two and a quarter. So this matches that. And then there's all these other little extra words for it. Boo, so scary to spook. Check your boo. <laughs> That's a funny one. I'm not even going to go into that one. <laughs> That's cute though. And then more cuteness. Now this is a smaller stamp set. These images are roughly one and a quarter inch tall. So going back to the other one, just to let you guys see them side by side. These two are, one is much bigger. This is six by six stamp. This is like a four by six stamp, okay? So these folks are like two inches tall, one and a half inch wide. This one is way out there, the, um, the little dare. He is like, let's say two and a quarter by two and a half inches and here now so these are are much smaller this is more like a lawn fawn size and this is more like just general cute critter stamps nice look at this tree and it was examples like the videos that they had before the release those sneak peeks this tree got me i tell you two and three quarter inches tall by two inches wide but i just I did not think it was gonna be this small. Hmm, interesting. So I'm glad I showed you guys the difference because here, you know, these are like little, you could put these on tags too because it's so small or you can go big. So they're giving you options in the sizing. This one of course is more Halloween themed and this one is your fall theme, but you could pop him with some of them and you know, it can work. Put a bat there and then all of a sudden it's Halloween and matching stencil stencil to go with the set so in this one so you see how it, just, it started to add up that's why the bundle made more sense it was stamp die because when it all of this no there's just no way i was going to cut that out but i like the idea that i can cut it out with a die here is now the stencil so you could do stencil in the background and there's two versions so it looks like the tree faces both ways See here and see there the curls? That's nice. You could put this on a slim line, horizontal slim line. You could put it on a vertical too, put it on a hill. Um, two and a half inches wide. So I guess this would drop on top of this and then ink blend. How many stencils are here? Let's see. And this is a six by six stencil. So this is two stencils. Let's take a peek goes right over that tree. Here's some clouds, some moon. Let me flip it over to the back so you guys can see. Oh, that's like, oh yeah, you can see. There's a half moon, full moon, craters in the moon, those night clouds. You can do buildings in the back here. Um, and then on this one, gives you that more of that gra graveyard look if you wanted, the fence. Here's a different color for the fence, so you could do maybe lighter here and then darker here, or vice versa. Those little tombstones. Oh, some of these, they're giving you the um, negatives too, so I can pop it. I, I think I can pop it, but I don't want to pop it. So it gives you the outline and then also maybe something to mask with for these smaller ones. That's nice. I'm surprised they didn't give us a mask for the tree. Wouldn't that have been nice too? But anyway, yeah, that would have been nice. The bats. That's cute. You can you can pop this anywhere on a card, you know? Just go different angles and the ghosts. So this is really cute. So even if you didn't want to get the stamp and die set, let's say, you could still just 
have the stencils and work with that. And that would still create a scene. And there's also, I believe last year or the year before, there is a base house die set, which I believe fits a uh, five by seven. This could go with that set with the Halloween, doing the Halloween add-on to the house and then put this around it to make a scene on a bigger card. That'd be cute too. Like Alrighty crafters, that's it. So we have Halloween, fall, year round, great sentiments, baking, that translates into Christmas. And of course, I'm gonna see, maybe I'll, you know, I'm thinking something with this because that little hole there, I mean, you could also punch a hole, but it's nice just to have it cut out and you can see it like, yeah, I can put a ring through it and flip it, you know, have it flip on something and then put something in here. Vice, you know, everything, everything. Gingerbread. I want, I've been like just so inspired by the gingerbread lately that I've been seeing too that I, you know, Jill had this stuff and maybe I do the gingerbread here too on a cutting board. Why not? Cute, cute, cute. It looks like it's just a nice background to start something. Inspiring. Ah, that's the word. Alrighty, crafters. So until the next video, stay crafty, my friends. Check out Honeybee Stamps. Don't forget, you can use Afterpay. Spread out those payments. You don't have to get everything. But if you are really interested, this is the one that I think will go the quickest. Because... It went like wildfire with the cone flower. <laughs> so, and I will link the cone flower below too. Hopefully it's in stock. If it's not in stock, click to be notified, okay? But this one may also go as well because it is just beautiful. And Honeybee was shipping super fast, so that's nice. And special pricing if you do any bundles, okay? Alrighty, crafters. So until the next video, stay crafty, my friends. Check out Honeybee. Bye.